Let's talk about turning a rivalry yeah. into a blowout. I mean, we don't see that very often. Um, you know, it never felt like a blowout to me. Um, you know, this team has been trying to find itself a little bit, especially offensively. Um, you know, and, and, and offenses take a little bit longer to click than defenses, and a little bit has to do with the schedule we've played. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm very happy. I'm happy mostly because of the hard work my kids have put in, and they see the sort of fruits of those labors, and I'm happy because they're happy. So, you know, I respect their, their coaching staff and what they've done in their program is what I've always kind of modeled and, you know, wanted to do it my own way, but wanted to, to be like and send kids to good, good schools like them and just, just have a good program. Was this the first game where you really felt the offense was where you hoped it would be? Oh, um, you know what? I, I thought, you know, the first game we had against St. Mary's, we were clicking, but that was a lot of energy and nerves, you know, Friday night lights, opening night, scoring goals. Then we took a few steps back on some great defensive teams. I really liked the way we played against McDonough. Even though we only had seven goals, I loved the way we were generating um, uh, off-ball movement, zipping the ball around. And, you know, it always helps tonight when you have your face-off guy run down the field and score two goals, and it helps when, you know, you got a great defense to create transition goals, and guys played smart and heady. So, We'll look at the film and learn from it and enjoy it. Uh, talk about the uh, what I thought was the game-changing play. First quarter, it's still a pretty close game. Prep throws the ball away in their own end. I think it was number eight, quickly gets the ball. Yeah, right, 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 right. Just that play and just, I, I guess, the savvy it right. showed. Well, that's the new rules, you know, the new NCAA rules that we're playing. Uh, it's a quick whistle, and, and that is kids' heads up. We practice that, pick it up, move the ball exactly right away especially with the goalie out or with the defenseman, defenseman spread out. And that's just a, uh, that's a result of the new rules and making a good pass. And actually, it was a great catch because that ball was coming across the, across the field in, in a tough way. Uh, talking about your goalkeeper, I, I was saying the great yeah. wall of Ice Street. I mean, yeah. he had a, a lot of point blank saves for you guys. Timmy's great. Um, as you remember, last year he had a fantastic game against them. He's going to go down at Gonzaga um, in what, what we built as, as – uh, Probably the all-time win leader, I guarantee you that, like I look at the stats. And he's just steady because he's just calm and loose, and even if you, if you get in his ear a little bit, he just he just keeps going and going. Um, he deserves more, and um, I, I just I can't say enough about the kid. He's a fantastic young man. How close is Provo to the single game record for the school? Um, he had five. Single game or single season? Single game. Um, you know, I don't know. Again, i got to look into that. I'm just kind of excited about the game. For the season, or for like, maybe career or season, is he going to threaten us? Uh, well, when we release the stats at the end of the year, well, I know that they, they put them up somewhere online. Um, he's doing just fine. He's doing just fine, and he's a good kid. All right. I'm very happy. Thanks. Thanks, guys.